Hi. Sometimes the most fun songs to play are the ones that aren't difficult at all. That being said, playing any song with the right timing, vibe and tone can be a challenge on its own. So I excuse myself for the word easy in the title. It's a word I really don't like in music related topics. When you hear a seemingly easy song, you can always distinguish a skilled musician from a beginner. So obviously there is something beyond playing the right notes that makes a good guitar player sound great. The first one is an oldie, but don't let that fool you. Link Ray with Rumble. The song has an awesome story. It was one of the very first few instrumental songs that was banned from the radio. Also one of the first riffs that uses a power chord. And at that particular time, a distorted guitar was extremely rare or even unheard of. He actually poked holes in the speaker of the amp to get that sound. with Sissy Strut, a very funky guitar line, and for this example, I'm using an app I made with my brother. Shameless self-promotion, yes it is. This app can drastically help your playing, it's called Loops with a Z, and unfortunately for now, it's only available for Android, so make sure to check it out. But it lets you select a loop, and a certain BPM. You can change it, speed it up, slow it down, and there are numbers of drum loops available in almost every style thinkable. Metal, funk, electro, indie, time signature changes, 4-4 four, four to 7-8, 3-4, 6-8, to whatever you like. So I'm looking at a funky song in 4-4 four, four time signature. And let's see, Sissy Groove. Yes, here it is. So the song goes like this, one, two, Let's say it goes too fast for you. You can slow it down. Let's say you want to play it faster. You can do it all. So the next song, number three, is by the XX or the X's. It's intro. An awesome song if you just start playing, a very easy melody line with lots of reverb and a muted sound. Just put your picking hand just in front of the bridge, not too much, so that it has a nice attack and decays a little bit more quickly than it normally would. <laughs> to explore multiple genres and try different kinds of songs. It doesn't only broaden your view on music, but different styles use different techniques. So you become a much more all-round guitar player, which is a good thing, even if you end up playing just one style.
Number five, Herman Brood, bred Broads with Saturday Night, an awesome rock riff played in the key of D minor. It starts off with a D power chord and just slides up to F and G power chord, both with the D as a root note. Make sure to mute the open strings slightly to give it a little bit more oomph. <laughs> What's My Age Again? I remember learning this song when it came out. Back in the days I played every Blink-182 song there is. <laughs> this one can be pretty difficult, but as a beginner you shouldn't be afraid to play songs that you maybe can't learn in a day or in a week. Luckily the left hand isn't that difficult, so you can put all the effort into the picking of the correct string. <laughs> Number 7 is Prayer in C, a fun and poppy song appropriate for every level. The very beginner should just play the melody, the high notes. And once you got that down, or if you're ready a little bit further, you can try to incorporate the bass notes with the melody. Here it is. Number 8. Hurt by Johnny Cash. A nice and melancholic song to play on acoustic guitar. In the verses he uses some arpeggiated guitar picking and in the choruses some spiced up chord with a nice strumming pattern. Here it is. Number 9, Scar Tissue. This song is not super easy, but learns you some fundamental stuff. Basically it's just 3 chords, an F, a C and a D minor, but then only play with the root and a third of the chord. The third determines whether the chord is a major or a minor. Further up in the song there are some nice slide guitar solos, good if you're starting to learn slide or if you're just starting to playing solos. You can play this song with your fingers, but it sounds more authentic when you use a pick. For notes combined, you can use hybrid picking or a strum where you mute all the strings you don't want to hear with your left hand. So let's end on a happy note, number 10, Time of Your Life. A nice exercise for a strumming hand. You need to see the song as a strum and not as a picking pattern. There are a lot of nuances you can put into strumming. Here it's not so much the dynamics, but more what strings you hit and which one you omit.
So these are just a few songs helping you out finding new material to play. And hopefully you will learn something. Rock on, keep on playing and may the guitar be with you. This was Paul, have a very nice day. Bye bye.